Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the launch of the IEA's Iraq Energy Outlook. It's a pleasure to introduce our two speakers this morning, Ms. Maria Vanderhoven, the IEA Executive Director, and Dr. Fatih Birol, the IEA Chief Economist and the author of the Iraq Energy Outlook. Ms. Vanderhoven will offer some introductory <coughs> remarks, and Dr. Birol will then present the report and its findings. After that, we'll, we'll be happy to take your questions. And now it's a pleasure to turn the floor over to Maria Vanderhoven. Thank you. Thank you very much, Greg, and a very warm welcome to, to all of you. And as you know, every year, IEA produces its World Energy Outlook, and at the same time, within this World Energy Outlook, there's always a special focus on a country. Last year, our focus was on Russia, and this year, our focus is on Iraq. And of course, as we all know, global energy security, sustainability, sustainability in, in economic development, worldwide engagement, all these things are at the core of the IAA's mandate. And uh, in a world where oil still is the primary energy, it is uh, is vital that we have a positive, constructive dialogue with the world's major producers. And that is one reason why this import, why this report is so important for uh, for IEA. The substance and the conclusions of the report are our own, and I would like to to stress that. But the work would not have been possible without the support and close cooperation that we received from the federal government of Iraq, from the regional and provincial governments, and from officials across many, many government bodies. And I take this opportunity to thank them all, to thank them very sincerely, and to express the hope that this study has laid the foundations for a stronger relation in the future between Iraq and, uh, and IEA. Now, Fatih Birol and his team have uh, conducted a comprehensive review of the energy outlook for Iraq based on extensive data gathering, visits to Baghdad, Erbil and Basra, meetings with leading officials in London and Istanbul, and, of course, meetings with industry representatives, meetings with international experts, as well as international workshops, and the international workshops we did in London and in Istanbul. And we have also been lucky to um, have to have three Iraqi colleagues. They have been working with us, and two of them seconded from the Iraqi administration, and they have been working as an integral part of our team. Now, it's my, it's my intention, it's my conviction that the extent of this research should give confidence to Iraq's decision makers that its analysis and findings are worth serious consideration. Now, next month, we are launching the World Energy Outlook 2012. And of course, we look forward to see some of you back here for the launch on the 12th of November. And once again, we will see how the world's need for oil, even at today's prices, remains high and is set to grow. So faced with the prospect of rising oil consumption, we have to ask where the additional oil and where the additional supply is coming from. And I can assure you, it's very tough to answer this question without Iraq. And this landmark study confirms the increasing importance of Iraq to the global energy system, highlighting the key role it is expected to play in meeting growing energy needs and the responsibilities it will assume as a strategic source of world oil supply. Put simply, this report shows that we all have an interest in Iraq, realizing its potential and revitalizing its economy. Oil, yes, oil is often at the heart of a headline on Iraq. But the key theme of this report is also about the benefits of Iraq moving away from high dependency on oil. And this means a strong, concerted effort by decision makers, decision makers to diversify its energy mix. For example, by harnessing Iraq's natural gas resources as a means to power its economy. It means a greater effort, a greater focus on bringing in efficient energy technologies. And it also means sound management of the revenues from oil export and sound long-term strategies that can encourage much needed economic growth outside the oil sector. So it's now a pleasure to, to give the floor to Fatih Birol to elaborate further on some of the key findings of this report. 